the Hunter Pro HC Wi-Fi Smart Controller. We're gonna unbox it and take a look at it. I'm Sprinkler and Andy, you're watching Sprinkler TV. Let's get right into this, guys. We're gonna unbox this, and again, I'm not in the landscape. I can't show you how to hang it up, and I'm not in this video gonna show you how the app works. Hunter has their own videos for that, so this is really just an unboxing. So let's just do that. Let's unbox. All right, Hunter always gives you mounting hardware, drywall anchors, and screws. You can use whatever drywall anchors are suitable. Um, this is a little bit heavy controller, so I would probably recommend uh, using beefier drywall anchors. Then if it's going outside on the side of your house, use appropriate hardware. Uses the traditional CH751 key. It's the very same key that all Hunter controllers and actually all Rainbird controllers and actually most controllers in the world use. Let's put the box on the floor. Go ahead and open it up. It comes with a pigtail pre-installed. It's actually really nice. A lot of controllers in the past did not come with pigtails and they do now. And I'll also mention that a lot of these controllers get hardwired. And if you'd like to hardwire this, meaning you're gonna run electricity right into here, you can uh, remove the pigtail and wire it in directly. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. It's locked locked out of my own controller. CH751 to the rescue. Come on, what's going on here? All right, there we go. It's awesome about these uh, Pro HCs is they have a pretty sweet, uh, pretty sweet little color screen. Got a handy Velcroed in zone chart, very typical for most Hunter controllers. What do we have in here? You can put all your zone information, all your programming information, uh, contractor details. That's pretty cool. If you are an irrigation contractor, don't forget to uh, complete this. So the homeowner knows who to call and uh, some basic programming info. And again, the purpose of this is to connect it with, uh, connect it to the internet and run it from your smartphone, right? So the screen's not particularly large. There are no dials or buttons, as you can see. And so the whole goal is to operate this from your phone. It's the point of a smart controller. It's the point of using Wi-Fi, right? So let's go ahead and open it up, see what she looks like on the inside. It's kind of neat. This is just essentially a plastic, uh, plastic protector, if you will. So let's point out a couple things. What we have up here is your um, sensor terminal, and it looks like there are two sensor terminals. There's a common sensor, and then you have terminal one for a sensor and terminal two for a sensor. It's actually kind of nice, just depending on how many different sensors you have wired up to have that control there. And then this is a 12 station model, zones one here through 12. And then you have your common wire from the field and you have your master valve or if you're using a pump start relay you can put your pump start there as well pretty um pretty well done controller it's very clean no real uh, moving parts the transformer is nicely nested in here and then again if you want to hardwire this all you have to do is remove um this casing in here where it says 120 vac you can take the pigtail out and you can put a junction box right here and you can wire directly up into it. That way it's uh, it's hardwired. So again, what you're gonna do is power this up, follow instructions on the screen to connect it to your Wi-Fi system. No external antennas uh, required, very easy to mount. Um, nice little compact unit. And yeah, hope that just kind of gives you a little out of the box sort of look and feel of this controller. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube and you have one of these, drop a comment. Tell us what you think of it. And if you're considering one of these and you have any questions, feel free to comment down below as well. And uh, we can either answer your question uh, immediately or we can go find an answer for you. And if you want help with anything else, reach out to us at Sprinkler Supply Store. You can contact us by phone, chat, email, and text message. That's all I got, guys. Until the next Sprinkle Supply Store product overview, happy sprinkling. We'll see you then.